ICN 3D is exclusively a web-based tool. So navigate to this website, and in the block, we can enter the code to load our structure, 3FGU. To identify our ligands, we can use the analysis menu, sequence and annotations. Clicking here gives us this pop-up window. Note that you may need to scroll left and right, depending on your screen resolution, and up and down, and our ligands appear at the bottom. We can see BCG, ANP, MG, and K. Here is our ligand that is outside of the active site. If we hover over that, we see the K. That's identifying it as our potassium ion. The rest of the ligands are in our active site. And we can hover over each of these ligands to view its name. Now we can close the sequences and annotations window and select on our structure. Select, select on 3D, and here are the instructions for doing this. This is for a PC. Alt will actually be option on a Mac. Ensure that residue is selected. And now I'm going to, on a Mac, option click on my magnesium. I may need to reposition this to click on my other residues. And now holding down control, I'll click on this residue. And notice you can identify your residue by the pop-up. If I'm on the protein, I might select something incorrectly. So click on AMP here. And now all of our ligands are selected. To save this selection, select Save Selection and type a name. I'll call this Three Ligands. The Select Sets menu comes up, and here's our Defined Set. There are other defined sets, so if we go to the Select menu and click again, we'll see a longer list of preset, but our three ligands is also here. Now with the ligands selected, we want to define a sphere of five angstroms around them. In the Select menu, select by distance, and in this pop-up menu, we'll leave this as selected since all of our ligands are selected. Adjust this to five angstroms and find the non-selected residues. Click Display and close this window using the X. Notice our original ligands are no longer selected, but the zone around them is. Let's save this selection using the Select menu. And I'll call this 5 ang. To combine these two selections, I can Command or Control click on both of these and save this new combined selection, which we'll call 5A full. I haven't yet displayed the side chains as sticks. That's going to happen automatically when we show interactions, and I'll show you how to do it manually in a moment. In the Analysis menu, select Interactions. This list comes up and shows comprehensive interactions. We only need a few of these, hydrogen bonds and salt bridges. For our first set, we'll select our ligands. And for our second set, we'll select the five angstrom active site. Click on 3D display interactions and close the window. Notice we see now pink sticks for the interacting residues. To show our entire 5 angstrom active site as sticks, we'll select that in our menu, 5 angstrom full. We'll select that in our Select Sets pop-up menu. Now in the Style menu, Side Chains, Stick. And then in the Color menu, Color by Atom, which applies our CPK coloring and now we can identify the interacting atoms. It's nice to see our active site in the context of the protein. However, it makes the view busy and a little difficult to see. To focus on our selection, we can click View, View Selection. It zooms in, but now just the selection is shown. But parts of our protein are still shown in the cartoon representation. So in the Style menu, Proteins, 
select stick. It's a bit challenging to differentiate our ligands from the protein because everything is colored the same. So in our select sets menu, we'll click on chemicals and view that selection. Now we can select each carbon atom in this structure. Select, select on 3D, and this time select atom. Using our same method, option click on the first atom now, and then control and click to add. Click on each atom, and we only want carbon atoms, so we may have to reorient. And we'll do the same for our A and P ligand. With all of our carbon atoms now selected, we can color them by unicolor, and let's make them cyan. To go back to our 5 angstrom active site, click 5A full in the Select Sets menu, and view the selection. Now we can clearly see our ligands among our protein residues. When we selected the interface, that showed our hydrogen bonds, so we can select interface 2 here, which is showing all of those hydrogen bonding residues. Now under Analysis, we can add a label. Label per residue and number, or whichever other menu item you prefer. Now we can identify the interacting residues. And we can save our file in a number of formats, including a shareable link, in this menu. For printing, handouts, and publications, you may wish to have a white background. In the Style menu, you can change the background to white.